Excuse me, you got any pool noodles? Yeah. Oh, have you got a pool party? Now I'm making a rock edge. Kester. Back on to some project cars and this time we've bought another rally car and the reason why we bought a rally car is we sold the other WRX. We uh, killed third gear on that car and instead of replacing the gearbox I decided to sell it for pretty much what we bought it for anyway. Go for something that's maybe had a little bit less use so that we can start with a bit more of a fresh car. We've had that car for two years. It's probably past the due date of being replaced. Been looking around for a WRX. Whilst I was looking around for a WRX a car popped up which generally I wouldn't have gone for because it's um, NA. I decided to bid for this car because it didn't look like it had a lot of damage and it wouldn't be a bad thing to have a backup car so we're still going to find a WRX anyway put a bid in thought nah I'll never get it for that price and right now I'm sitting with it so that's a 2002 Impreza just a little two liter which has had a light front end over here still a very straight car It's actually got a really clean interior, 208 on the clock, even came with a full tank of fuel. And that's another cheap car with a full service history. 500 bucks for that. I'm really starting to like all these cheap cars. Rocked up at Pickles thinking, oh, I'll have to tow it into the car, but no, nope, started right up, drove it straight into the trailer. Now what I've decided to do is obviously I need to pull this out. I need to just look a little bit more presentable. So I'm gonna do something I haven't done before, which is something that I saw Luke Fink doing at, at his track. I'm gonna hook up the winch of the trailer to the front of the car. And I'm gonna do that because this over here, the radiator support has been pushed back. So I'm gonna grab it from a nice supportive area over there and pull it forward, see if we can get this bend out, get the lights to be pushed out to a point where they are in line. Same with this side. That's pushed back over there. And that's pushed back a little bit over there as well. So that's easy enough. This has snapped over here. So I'll need a new radiator regardless. What's nice though, is nothing has touched the motor. So it hasn't been pushed far back and hasn't caused any major damage. Got the winch rope ready, see how I go. Back in the trailer and now with the car being as far forward as what it is all i've got to do is concentrate on bringing that down because that's the major issue that we've got now over here how this is bulged up so i need to try and get something around that and pull it down we've obviously got the winch better place with the car further forward and hopefully that's mostly all i need to do to get the car looking you know somewhat together so we can go and drive it and more than likely crash it let's carry on That's as good as it's gonna get with those pieces that are in there at the moment. So my thoughts are remove the latching items inside this car 
and just go for the race latches just to hold the bonnet down and then tidy up the panel which is pushing that light out over there because that light's just a bit high. I've pulled everything as straight and as far down as much as it should be, even a little bit more than it should be to be honest. I might even see if I can find another bonnet just to make it look a little bit more presentable. I'm pretty certain the bonnet is pretty skew. Time to go buy some things off eBay, new radiator, bonnet pins, and if I can find a bonnet, we'll find another bonnet, but it has to be super, super cheap. Don't really care what color. Let's put it up in the garage and call it a day. So struggling to get the new Impreza front end as straight as what I'd like, I thought probably best to carry on with a straight bonnet. So I'm gonna quickly take that bonnet off over there because just come back from Rockley Auto Spares. And big thanks to Scotty over there for quickly finding me the bonnet I needed. And what we've got is just a nice straight Impreza bonnet over there in blue. Put that one on there, get the car aligned, and then I'll probably just get some Plassey to Black and just Plassey to Black over it. So let's get that off and see if the car lines up a little bit better with a straight bonnet. That looks a lot better. Definitely a good move going with the new bonnet. Slight adjustments needed. That's not locking in there at the moment, so I'll adjust that. This doesn't line up the way I want it to. Probably be able to put the grill back in, hopefully, with some cable ties. Got to get a radio of eBay, put it in there, flush it, and then the car's ready for some rally. I've also got some tires in the shed over there. That's car number two for the rally, ready. Just need to find a third uh, WRX, and we will be set to go. Quite happy about that. <laughs> Okay, so I've parked up the Impreza because yesterday that we found another rally car for another $2,000 and it's a WRX and it's a bug eye. I absolutely love the bug eyes. They are my favorite WRX that was ever bought out. This particular car I got for $2,000, no rego, came with nice wheels, it's got suspension, modified, it's tuned. The only problem with the car, bit of paint peel on it, on the front there as well, on the front bumper, faded roof and a bit of fade over there. It's got things like full exhaust system all the way through. It's even got equal length headers. It's got the coil wheels as well, which I'll sell because they will just get absolutely wrecked while rallying. So we'll sell those and that's money towards the car. The interior is in nice condition. It's had the timing belt done 50,000 Ks ago. I've serviced every 5,000 Ks. And the guy who owned it before was a mechanic for Toyota. So he's actually looked after the car, despite the fact that the body doesn't look that great, which doesn't bother us for rally because it is going to get stone chips over it anyway. So big day ahead. I'm going to go over this car, get the wheels off and make sure everything's ready to go on the car for the rally that we've got coming up. Then I'll get back onto that other Impreza and get that finished up once the bonnet pins arrive and stuff because I've decided to give up with the whole latch system. And the boys are coming over to work on the BMW because we've got Morgan Park coming up next week. They want to have a rip around in the BMW so they got brake pads, all sorts of stuff going in that car. A lot to get done. Let's get started. The BMW is back for a bit more work. Are you going to introduce the wheels for the car? Unlock the front door and then open the back door. That's why it doesn't well unlock properly. You need a degree to open this thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Were you bored or something? <laughs> Just grab me out, mate, and you'll, you'll be even more amazed in the sunlight. Oh, my. <laughs> that, like, spot. <laughs> to be fair, I actually don't think it's bad. <laughs> I actually think that's going to look cool as hell. That's what I'm I was going to do them green with my leftover brake paint, and then I was like, no, I have an idea. It's got glitter in it. Yeah, I did a metal flake over the top, so it's metallic. Prepped it, primed, put the pink down. Metal flake's essentially like a clear coat with metallic through it, so I did that, and then I clear coated it. <laughs> oh, that's still good in the garage. Yeah, they're in the back seat, so. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, sparkly. Uh, <laughs> just get the right angle, dude. Look at that sparkle. Oh. Uh, that's great. What are you doing? Oh, I'm looking pretty much. Oh. All 
Right, so the boys are working on the BMW. Casper over there busy doing wheels, changing out the wheels. Anthony's inside removing all the roof trimming and we've got Kester doing... He was, he was doing that. Oh, there we go. He is doing something. Okay. There we yeah, go. His hands are moving. Uh, new Nankang tires on here. So that's ready for the Morgan Park. Because we don't think these will last very long on the Morgan Park day. We're on treadway indicators. I've got the time lapse going. And wow. you're going to see these boys just messing around on the car. They've got to do oil as well. Do brake pads. Fluid. Yeah. Oil. Yeah. Filter. Yeah. Do you want to bother the sound editing dude? They started working on the sound editing and it's just, yeah. How much sound editing would be under the seat anyway? Usually it's in the footwell, isn't it? No, BMW is all. <laughs> BMW is a heavy for a reason. How about we do everything else? See where we're going because if we've got time to do it. The carpet still weighs a bit light in these. Let's just cut the carpet out and do the sound editing another time. Could do that. Every bit of weight counts in this car. Did you guys right. see that? Did you see that? 120 kgs we took out of that car. <laughs> With all that stuff that was piled on the side there. 120 kgs. Yeah, I'm glad that I weigh just as much as the whole interior out of a BMW. Oh, this is actually a 1995 car, by the way. Oh, they ripped me off. They said it was a 96. This is good. One year makes a big difference. It does. You go to jail for one year. Exactly. You know all about that, don't you? <laughs> you guys need to do a better job of that. Can you grab pool noodles while you're out? <laughs> 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 I would if there was a pool shop close by, but there isn't. I came up. Excuse me, you got any pool noodles? Yeah. Oh, have you got a pool party? No, I'm making a roll cage. So, pool noodles. Okay, so I'm going to add to the list and I'm going to go to Bunnings and Super Chips and get all that stuff. Lunch as well, beers as well. Yeah. Yep, I got it. Let's go. some new fluid in there and stripping out more of the driver's side over there so putting all that carpet out a whole bunch of dash gone airbags gone as well and i'm busy working on the subi the biggest thing i've got to do over here really to be honest is just replace the fuel filter because that is seeping we managed to even put some badges on the pink wheels 15 inch tires from that car we'll put it on those tires for the bmw rally day and then those wheels will then go onto that car and i've got 16s to go onto this car with other tires it's got a brake pad sensor on yeah, it that's awesome 1995 dude it's got a brake pad sensor on it kester what are you doing man well i don't fit in there because i'm fat <laughs> and so i've got him pulling the speaker out now i'm gonna get back to it he was like it was either that or you're gonna have to ring someone to like shoot more me out i didn't know how much about so you had you guys started on the uh, sound ending yeah is it working? Yeah. Are you gonna get the rest out? Probably not. I mean, Dylan was gone for seven and a half hours, so we had enough time. Seven and a half hours, an hour and a half to go get you food. <laughs> Trying to start that argument again? <laughs> so, yes, more weight that's come out of the BMW, so it just never ends. BMW is taking a long time. Anthony's still busy with the brakes because the pistons are from. 50 years ago. The boys have really stripped this all out though. We've got the carpet out, we've got that side of the console out over there, oh. cut away a bunch of wires. I'm Dylan tied in the car, just now. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Kester's gonna try and get rid of most of that shit up over there still. Still gotta service it, still gotta do the brake fluid, and I'm just working on the ute in the back there because I've given up on the BMW. The boys are at it though. Dude, I can't believe how nice these speakers are. They came out to BMW. You guys weren't planning on keeping them, were you? Because I, nah, no, I might put them in this BMW. I think they'll actually be quite nice in this That's BMW. why I didn't throw them out. I'm like, you'll probably use them. Because Kester's inside there moaning and moaning and moaning. You got this in 
I don't think that's tall for the job. <laughs> Kester! <laughs> the look on your face is like, what do you want? <laughs> well, everyone take notice of this. No beer? Yeah. No beer. Also, no beer. That's because I offered beers and you didn't want beers. It's not no, my fault that you guys take so long. You're walking you? around with a camera like, ah, I feel more things. This is what happens when you let the boys loose in your garage. And there's Anthony still fighting with the brake pads. But he's finally got the last set of pads in there. Uh, Here's the first, pair of, the first set of brake pads I've ever done. So come on, get, cut me some stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were the back. It's the pads. first set of pads you've ever done. Did you never change brake pads on your Evo? You did it for him. Yep. <laughs> Bro, you should have told me that before you got started. I would have just done it for you. It would have been done 10 hours ago. <laughs> that is the motto for this car. Don't get technical. <laughs> oh, new sticker. Kids in the back seat may cause accidents. Accidents in the back seat may cause kids. So no back seat. No, right. no accidents. No accidents. Kester's getting high on asbestos. <laughs> asbestos. <laughs> Can you read, mate? Acetone. Chip. Acetone. Yeah, we just got a tin of asbestos sitting in the car. Acetone. <laughs> this is funny. This is just not working very well, is it? <laughs> Let's see if we can get it done. Ben Daddy's done, uh, Anthony's adding some power steering fluid to the car because it's got a power steering leak. The next thing we'll do is the steering rack. But we got the pink wheels are fitted, looking all snazzy. The car sits really high now because we've got very little weight in it. And some more pink wheels there, that's one of the ones that Kester was too lazy Wait. to mask up on. Wait. You should have seriously painted the tires. I've still got the stuff so we can. Do that again. No. Do it again. Jesus, <laughs> you're in a break, sorry. <laughs> what did that mean? <laughs> I'm getting out of this thing. <laughs> you guys do realize that Morgan Park's a really fast track. Uh, well, not with this. <laughs> well, it'll be fast. Yeah, I might go with that. I really do like the pink wheels. I'm not going to lie. I really do like it. <laughs> I think it looks so good. Okay, who's taking a photo for Trent? Photo What's going on? You got an oil leak? Yeah, the top there. I don't think that's on properly. Leak Just properly. around the top, around the top here. Oh, uh, yeah, back it, it off and check in. Okay. Clean it up, because it might just be that you didn't clean it up the first time. I did, man. I put degrees on everything. Seriously, I can't believe how high that front is. Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Look at that. Like, that's arch gap, bro. Oh, no. What tire pressures are we running, boys? I don't know. Seven. <laughs> Bar. <laughs> <laughs> are we done? We're gonna put it up on the trailer now and call it a night because it's been a long day and night. As per usual, it takes us nine hours to get three hours worth of work done. Well, speak for yourself. I'm very nervous when you'll be on me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs>